Hi, this is Nancy Buswell, and you are listening to the Listen and Repeat series on Black Beauty. This is Episode 1. The title of this book is Black Beauty, the Autobiography of a Horse. (laughs) Now, autobiography means a story about yourself. Let uh, Let me start that one again. Hi, this is Nancy Boswell, and you are listening to the Listen and Repeat series on Black Beauty. This is Episode 1. The title of this book is Black Beauty, the Autobiography of a Horse. Now, autobiography means a a history of yourself, a story that you write about yourself. Biography, a biography is written about someone else, and autobiography is written about yourself. And this this book was written by a horse. Do you believe that? Of course not. It was written by a woman called Anna Sewell in 1877. And she's telling the story of a horse through the eyes of the horse. Now, if you haven't listened to my, my um, listen and repeat podcasts or YouTube videos before, um, what you need to do is listen to, to what I say and then repeat after me. Uh, Copy how my voice goes up and down, that's called intonation, and copy my pronunciation. Now, if you have listened to my other podcasts or YouTube videos, this one is different because I'm going to, I'm, I'm using a timer, and I'm watching the time, and I'm going to stop after four minutes and 30 seconds. These are going to be short videos, so, or, or podcasts, um, I, I wanted to chain to try something different. So, four minutes and 30 seconds, that is when I will stop. I'm doing this partly because I want to use this in my classroom, and I want to know that there's five minutes. I'm also making this for teachers, um, so that teachers will know these will be five minutes. So, I've already been talking for two minutes. Let's get into the text. Listen and repeat. This is part one, chapter one. The first place that I can well remember. Was a large, pleasant meadow. With a pond of clear water in it. Some shady trees leaned over it. And rushes and water lilies grew at the deep end. Over the hedge on one side, We looked into a plowed field. And on the other, we looked over a gate. At our master's house. I didn't say our, our master's house, at our, at our master's. That's how we pronounce our, if it's not an important word in the sentence, our. At our master's house, which stood by the roadside. At the top of the meadow was a grove of fir trees. and at the bottom a running brook. Overhung by a steep bank. And that's all for today.